Okay guys, so we're gonna make our vanilla extract. Actually, we're gonna make two. Um, one of them is a bourbon vanilla extract and one of them is just a regular organic vanilla extract. Um, but we're gonna have you make them with us. We have our new little fun gadget. So we attach the phone, you get to see what I see. Um, it's my first time using it, so let me know what you think. But I'm gonna show you, it's super secret as to how we make the different ones. One, we use vodka, one we use bourbon only difference otherwise you do everything else the same let me know if you like this point of view um or if it's just a gadget that i don't need to use because i just thought it was really cool but here we go okay sorry if this is a little wonky i'm still getting used to it it's kind of an odd point of view so all you're going to do is take your beans and you're going to slice right down the middle some people like to soak their beans and have them plump up first. I never really found that necessary, but I'm also putting a large amount of the beans in there. I do say it is very important when you order your beans, um, there are different grades. Uh, I always get the A grade. You want the best beans you can get, the plumpest with the most vanilla in there. Um, and usually if you're going to get the C ones, uh, they're going to be so dried that you really can't do this without plumping them. You can tell these are still moist and good to go. So all we're going to do is do this for all of our beans that we're going to put in there. Um, I usually do it for however many jars I'm going to make. You can see I'm doing the gallon, or I'm sorry, the half gallon jars, and that makes about 12 jars. So you want, I usually do 24 beans in each jar, and... Then I'm going to jar them in a bottle like this. I did another video we're going to put out after this one that you just music so you can see how we bottle them. Not a big deal. But anyway, so let me get. Okay, so once we have them all cut up and in the jar, you add the bourbon and the vodka. So all that's left is I put the date on the top of the jar. And then they go on a shelf for a year. And what a difference a year makes in the color, you can tell. This one doesn't look that much different, but it smells a lot different, tastes a lot different. Um, but this one, there's no color, no additives to it. This is just where the vanilla has stuck into it. I always add a vanilla bean in the jar as well, so it just keeps getting stronger. But that's how you make vanilla extract. So you guys can let me know if you like my little new toy thing. I'm not sure of it yet. I think it's made for people who are flat chested more than it is for people who are endowed. Um, but let me know what you think because I could make a lot more videos this way and just video as I'm making stuff or even go live while I'm making stuff and y'all could do it with me. So let me know what you think and let me know if you make your own vanilla.